We have some huge Amazon merch news for you guys today. Uh, I literally just saw this within the past two or three minutes here. And quite frankly, I'm shocked. Um, I think this is going to be huge for merch. I think this is going to be huge for sales. Uh, I'm even going to go out on a limb and say this is probably the biggest and quite possibly the best Amazon merch uh, update message notification that we've ever gotten. Uh, basically, I'll cut right to the chase and tell you guys what it is. Uh, Amazon is now allowing cussing on shirts and they're also allowing drug and alcohol use on shirts. Now, um, I realize that, you know, this is only one small segment of t-shirts, but let, let's not kid ourselves. Like these t-shirts sell well. Like I, you know, if we want to go way, way back into the day, I don't know if you guys remember those like big Johnson shirts, uh, sexually suggestive shirts tend to sell really well. Weed shirts sell really well. One of my best selling designs of all time was actually a weed shirt. I get tons of compliments when I wear the shirt. Um, but at some point Amazon did start not allowing weed shirts, not allowing cussing and all those designs got taken down. So for anyone who's been in merch for a long time, like 2015, maybe early 2016, back then you could do weed shirts and cussing. I forget exactly when the change happened, but at some point they did make the change and they stopped those shirts and it was really disappointing to me because one of my best selling shirts, uh, one that I had a, a really large social media influencer like with millions of subscribers, started wearing one of my weed shirts and uh, the thing really took off. Um, also, I just kind of like making kind of weed and risque kind of shirts. It's just kind of a fun niche of shirts. But if you think about the, the shirts that people are like, oh, that's awesome, it tends to be more vulgar, more risque shirts. So let's cut right to the chase. We see right here, 10-4, October 4th. That's today. Uh, today, we launched two new merch updates for the Merch by Amazon content policy. 2.9, youth policy is a new selection of our content policy. 2.3, Profanity has been updated to allow profanity on adult sizes only. So we, you know, I made a video the other week about how if you're seeing your shirts go into processing, they're removing kid sizes from a lot of your shirts that are, you know, maybe sexually suggestive about al alcohol, anything like that. Uh, designs that contain profanity, drugs, alcohol, violence, and sexual content will be allowed in adult sizes, but not in youth sizes. Please carefully review our updated content policy here. You can click on it and read it. Uh, we have already started removing youth sizes from existing designs that violate the new policy and removals will not affect your design or your account health. New design submissions must comply with this policy starting today. Rejections will count towards account health enforcement beginning 11-5. Uh, please review all of your designs to ensure that they are compliant with the updated content policy. So take a look over your shirts. Uh, any shirts that you have that are kind of more adult natured, check make sure they're not available in kid sizes if so i think you should be able to edit and remove kid sizes if not just remove the shirt entirely um this is a little bit conflicting because uh they're still not going to allow violence right like it, i'll take you guys to the next page we'll kind of read over the full policy but i don't think they want violence there's still no human tragedy still nothing hateful so don't think it's just you know i doubt you guys would want to make hateful shirts anyways but uh, don't think it's free reign here that you know there are still some policies in place but i think kind of the main thing is like weed shirts alcohol shirts and shirts with cussing seem to be okay now like I i'm actually kind of curious for you your guys take on this drop a comment below like part of me just wants to hit the ground running and like post 300 weed shirts tonight um but at the same time part of me is like is this for real so uh let, let's go on and hop over there and take a look Okay, all designs submitted through the new Merch by Amazon program must adhere to our content policy, legal, we can ignore that. So let's go down to objectionable uh, objectionable content. Uh, pornography content, designs with pornography or offensive depictions of graphic sexual acts. So um, I would kind of stay away from that type of stuff. Child exploit exploitation, I'd imagine you guys won't be doing this, I would hope not. Designs that depict minors in a su sexually suggestive manner. Uh, profanity, here's a big one. Profanity is allowed, is not allowed on youth sizes, but allowed on designs in adult sizes. Remember that profanity associated with hatred, violence against race, ethnic origin, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, religion, or disability is prohibited on all sizes. So again, don't do anything hateful. Don't do anything racist. Don't do anything against men, women, anything like that. But if you want to say like, fuck this, smoke a joint. Seems to be completely okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, human tragedy. Designs that depict human tragedy tragedy are directly connected with a tragedy or treat human life satirically. Uh, we've kind of covered this one before. Again, don't make 
hurricane shirts. Don't make Sandy Hook shirts. Just kind of stay away from anything like that, period. Uh, promotion of violence, which is kind of odd because on the previous page I said violence is okay. I would stay away from violence, but promotion of violence. Designs that promote violence, glorify violence, or attempt to incite violence through cruelty, death, or torture against an individual or group of individuals. Content depicting murder or suicide are not acceptable. See also human tragedy policy. Uh, Nazism, we won't even cover that. Don't make Nazi shirts. Uh, UK, uh, if you guys reviewed the policies before, uh, nothing that makes fun of mental illness. And then if we go down to 2.9, uh, use size policy. We will protect our customers from questionable content on use sizes. Designs and use sizes cannot be associated with the following. Sexually suggestive, uh, this includes innuendo, scantily clad models, sex jokes, uh, promotion of violence, content that implies physically harm, physical harm to others, uh, promoting the use of armed weapons, and depic depictions of blood and gore, uh, vulgarity or profanity, drug or alcohol use. So, um, like I said, I think this is one of the hugest policy changes we've seen, and the reason being, like, okay, we had pop sockets rolled out. It's cool. We have another product to sell, but like, they're not. You know, the commissions aren't that great, and they don't really sell that well. It was pretty big when we got hoodies, noodies, and long sleeve tees. I think it's cool to have an offering. The more products that Amazon rolls out, the better. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think most of our experiences is that t-shirts are really the only thing that sells in large numbers. Um, Amazon AMS rolls out. Okay, kind of cool. But ultimately, it's just kind of creating a, a, a race to the bottom in terms of who's willing to spend the most on ads. So, you know, we have all these changes come out. Um, yeah, you know, there's been some cool changes and stuff. But here is a change that's not going to cost you any money. And it opens up a whole huge new wide array of categories that you can cover. And again, you know, think about when you go to a tourist shop or the, the shops in the mall that sell funny t-shirts. Like it's a lot of stuff about bongs and sexual innu innuendo and cussing. And those shirts tend to sell really well. So this opens up, you know, a, a ton of new niches, a ton of new types of shirts. Uh, I think this is going to be huge. So um, I'm almost like, like I said, I really want to hit the ground running and start uploading shirts. And I'm almost like, well, hold on. Is it April Fool? Like, are they serious about this? Are, you know, am I going to upload a bunch of weed shirts tonight? And then they start giving me trouble about it. So I'm almost hesitant to do it. But I mean, I guess right here it says black and white uh, that, you know, drug use, alcohol use and cussing is fair game. So um curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this policy. Is this something that you're going to take advantage of? Anything else that you have to add, drop it down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.